YouTube, it's Multiplier here to tell you how to do custom distortion in Trash 2. That was a little rhyme, I just wrote up freestyle on the spot, but yes, what is going on? Right, if you haven't heard of Isotope Trash 2, it's by far the best and most popular bass processing plugin. All the top guys use it, Skrillex, Noisier, etc. And in particular, it's fantastic for distortion. It's primarily a distortion plugin, even though it does other things. And this video is going to look at custom distortion in this particular plugin, Isotope Trash 2. And the bonkers thing about it is not only do you get like a million pre pre default presets, not only do you get a million default presets, all with its own personality and character to choose from, different banks, different styles, subtle to extreme, you can actually make your own too. And that's what I'm gonna show you in this video. First of all, very quickly, the default distortion modes. Let me show you a few to spark your imagination. I'm just gonna press the button on the push. Right, what I've got to demonstrate this is a simple bass loop. Stop! Well, my fingers went up all at the wrong times, but you get the idea. It's a cool little deep-ish bass loop. Let me run through some of the presets. Etc. 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 See how each one of these distortion modes has its own personality, its own character. It's adding in additional harmonics in its own unique way. Right. First of all, I'll tell you what all the buttons do, and then I'll tell you how to best use it in a real life situation. So, going back to none. In fact, let me explain what's going on. Right. Here's the confusing thing: the distortion curve that you end up actually using is going to be a combination of two things: the bass curve and then your curve. They get combined into a result. If you choose, say, or oh, did you right click, if you choose one of these guys, let's say that one, the actual distortion curve that gets used will be blue, the result, you see it says blue result. That will be a combination of the bass plus your curve. Confusingly though, you can't actually see the bass. Currently the your curve is at neutral, so it's not doing anything. Therefore, the bass is exactly the same as what you currently see as the blue result curve. If you then twist the your curve, so do some shaping of your curve, just by dragging stuff about. See how that's changing the result? That's changing the blue curve. But now I have absolutely no idea what the base is, which to some extent doesn't matter too much. The important thing to know is that the effective curve is the blue one, and that's the combination of the base, which you choose from the presets. It's a combination of that base plus your curve. Doing, 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 doing. See, so you can drag it about and do stuff. You can see you can even insert your own nodes. Right. Let me show you some of the buttons though in a more clear way. So none. So I'm going to set the reset. But but words words multiplier. Do do words. I'm going to click none, and that will set the base to zero to neutral. Doing and then clear all. That will reset my curve like so, and then I can show you some of these additional buttons. First of all, bipolar. What that does is also allow you to shape the left side as well as the right. So doing. Now I can do stuff over here independently of over here, pretty cool. The drop down menu changes the type of curve, so doing squares, confusing, confusing, what was it, maniac, triangles, signs, and, and so on, stairs even, Ooh, click up and down to drag. Unlike real stairs, you can change the number of stairs, like so. Note, if you change the curve while the sound is playing, chances are you'll hear a weird little glitch. So don't get thrown off by a weird little glitch as you're changing the curve. You shouldn't hear a glitch once you leave the curve alone, but sometimes you have to play around with it as the sound's playing, so just ignore the glitches. You get the idea. Cool, so there's a few more parameters also to be aware of. There is a horizontal slider. Look at that, horizontal. See what it's doing? See what it's doing. It's making it smoother. Ooh, pointy, pointy, pointy. Smooth, 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 point, pointy, pointy, pointy. Smooth, smooth, pointy, pointy, pointy. Which becomes especially useful when you're just throwing things about willy-nilly and you have quite a spiky sound. You then want to soften it, you just go easy peasy. How cool is that? In fact, let me show you. Can 
continuing with more parameters that aren't labeled and give no clue as to what they do. The one on the right hand side, the vertical one, what that does is effectively pull these nodes up and down, but all at the same time. So doing, doing, doing. Uh, for example, if I have uh, tension, doing, click, click, tension, ooh, ooh, tension, see how it changes the curviness? Doing, doing, doing. Or stairs and linear. Beep, beep, beep. Ooh, boop. See how it changes the up and downiness of the, of the middle node? Probably a special name for it. I'm just going to call it the uh, node. And the final parameter is log mode. What log mode does is change the, the log mode is quite hard to explain if you don't know maths, but the best way to visualize it is to look with your eyes. So see how there's a, like a grid with squares, Egyptian uh, squares, and it's all linear, you might call it kind of symmetrical and stuff. If you hit log, See how it goes like that? It's like stretching the grid, but your curve hasn't stretched, so it changes the sound. Sometimes it gets better, sometimes worse, sometimes it's more aggressive, sometimes less aggressive. And yes, that is all the buttons and parameters and twi twilly things. Right, cool. How would this apply word knowledge? Words, again, multiplier. How would you use this in the real world? Typically what you do is you use it to shape an existing base, or you just click around like a maniac until it sounds cool. Let me show you the first one, first of all, first, 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 right. So one of my, oh, clear, so I'm gonna clear my curve, doing my favorite distortion mode is amazing, by the way, that's why it's my favorite. It's called hard chip, and if you crank up the drive, get this cool sandy top end, at least I describe it as sandy, because sand, it feels like sand. It's like someone's got bass and just sprinkled sand in your, not in your eyes, that will hurt. I'm gonna sprinkled sand in your, just sand and stuff. The cool, so what you could do is, uh, yeah, you could take that existing thing and tweak it a bit. Maybe you wanna take the noise end, the bottom bit, and add a bit of sine vibe to it. That's sine, maybe. See how we can kind of get some weird tonal stuff coming out. Or just ignore what I said about sign and just play around until it sounds cool. Again, another option. See how that's got some of the original hard chip vibe, but I've twisted it into something slightly different. Remember, the resulting curve, the resulting bit of distortion you're doing is a combination of the bass and your curve. So in fact, another way you can work is to do a your curve and then just cycle through basses. That also works pretty well too. Um, but yes, cool, let me show you the final way, which is just willy-nilly freestyle, jazz, freestyle experimental, multiplier, Skrillex experience, buttons, nodes, parameters, etc. Cool, so what you can do is the technical term is uh, some um, probably just willy nilly would be the technical concept. So you could just like click over here, click over here, click over here, click over everywhere, click over here, double click everywhere multiplier. You find out click less. No, always click more. Oh, that is magic. That is magic in the brain. Audio magic. Skrillex, get out of the way. Get out of the way. You're getting destroyed by multiplier right now. See how brilliant of a sound you can make just by clicking around like a some sort of crazy mental patient. The, I actually quite like it. Jokes aside, I think that's interesting. I've taken something, something and made it into something new. I mean, it's totally different to the original, but that's interesting. You get the idea. You can use it to take a subtle distortion mode and tweak it into your own a little bit. Or you can go blonkers, blonk, blonkers, bonkers even. Uh, bonkers. Or you can use it to make something bonkers by just making something crazy. It's entirely up to you. But the cool thing is, you can do it when you're being cute. Inspired, excited, that has been, yes you are, that has been a tutorial of sorts with Multiplier, how to do custom distortion in Isotope Trash 2. Kapow! That's symbolic of the power in Trash 2 up in Multiplier.
I will catch you on the flippy.